drone is so cool! But also hard to control! Ah! Oh no! There you are! Huh? What's that? Ah! Come on! Why isn't it working? Careful! It's dangerous! What's this, Hero? I think he's guarding something, Leo. What do you think it is, Katie? <gasps> is it buried treasure? Guess we'll have to find out later. Hi, Junior Ranger Zari. Hi, Leo. I crashed my drone and I can't get to it. There's a scary snake in the way. Whoa! Wow! I'll look up more information about the snake on my computer. Stay on the line, Zari. See you later, hero. Let's see what snake Zari found. It's a king cobra. King cobras are found in forests, mangroves, grasslands, and rivers in various parts of Southeast Asia, India, and China. King cobras are the longest venomous snakes in the world. Its bite is very dangerous, so we must stay away from it. Did you hear that, Zari? Don't get too close. Yikes! Got it! When the king cobra feels threatened, it expands its ribs and muscles on both sides of their neck to create a hood. The hood makes it look bigger, which helps scare predators away. With the ability to lift the front part of its body off the ground, the king cobra can easily look an adult in the eye and move forward to attack. Ah! My drone won't stop sparking! What if the cobra gets hurt? We'll be right over to help, Zari. Remember to keep a safe distance. Ranger, out. There's no time to waste. See you downstairs. <laughs> Ranger Leo, all set. Woohoo! <laughs> Junior Rangers to the rescue! Platypus One, activate! Here we go! Please move away, Cobra. It's dangerous. Hi, Zari. Leo, Katie, what should we do? Since the Cobra doesn't want to move, we'll have to move the drone. Have you tried pushing all the buttons at once? Uh, no. I don't think we should, Leo. Uh -oh. oh no! Abort! Abort! Make it stop! I'm trying! I'm trying! Oops. Sorry about that. What should we do now? Let's try grabbing the drone. Slowly. Gotcha. <laughs> ah! Oh no, what else? Ranger, Ranger Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. What are you doing here? I'm gathering some leaves for a study. What are you rangers up to? We're trying to retrieve Zari's drone, but the King Cobra won't let us. I'll bring the Mama Cobra to safety while you guys retrieve your gadgets. Got it, Ranger Rocky. Never try this yourself, Junior Rangers. Be careful, Ranger Rocky. He's got her. Go, go, go. Whoa, the eggs! Oh, some are hatching! Uh oh! Watch out! Get back here! Ugh. Ah! 
Leave it to us. Jetpack, Jetpack activate. activate. Gotcha. Whoa! I don't have time for this. Uh-oh. That's not good. Rio, the nest. Not on my watch. Phew. That was awesome, guys. Good work, Junior Rangers. You're free to go now, Mama. Where are you going, baby cobras? Your mama went that way. Once the babies hatch, they don't stay with Mama. They take care of themselves now. Bye, Bye, -bye. cobras! Be safe! Mission accomplished. I'm glad we kept the King Cobra safe. So, what have you been guarding all this time, Hero? Hero treats? <laughs> Why did you bury them? <laughs> <laughs> Good job, children. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Oh, wow, a snake. That would look great in my drawing. Like this. Huh? Where did it go? Whoa! How did it get there so fast? <gasps> it must have teleporting superpowers! On three. One, two, three! <laughs> yes! Looks like I can throw better than you, Katie. Hmm, maybe I need a better plane. Hi, Junior Rangers, Ari. Leo, I found a snake that can teleport. It went from one tree to another really fast. Snakes can't teleport. Then how did it move so quickly? I'm not sure, but let's try looking up more information on the computer. Stay with us, Ari. Let's find out more about this snake. It's a paradise tree snake. It can be found in mangroves, forests, parks, and even urban areas. Paradise tree snakes are gentle and shy, but they're venomous, which means they release a poison through their bite. Even though their venom is weak on humans, it's safer not to approach them. Although they're known as flying snakes, it would be more accurate to say they glide through the air. That's why they're also known as the paradise gliding snake. But how does it glide without wings? Oh, wow, there it goes. Oh no, the snake's near an open window. That could be really dangerous. Dangerous? We'll be right over, Zari. Ranger out. Let's get that snake to a safe spot. See you downstairs. Ranger Leo all set. Woohoo! <laughs> Junior Rangers to the rescue! Platypus One, activate! Here we go! Leo, Katie, the snake's about to jump! Whoa! How does it do that? I can answer that, Junior Rangers. Ranger Rocky! Paradise tree snakes use their strong muscles to climb up to a tall launch point. When the snake jumps, it curves its body into a J shape shifting its body so that it flattens out to about twice its normal width. The snake's quick slithery movements in the air create waves that help them to glide from one place to another. They hold their tail upward, twisting it from side to side to help keep their balance in the air. Huh? Uh-oh! How did it get stuck in there? Keep calm, my friend. I'll save you. No worries, Junior Rangers. But don't try this yourselves. Do snakes get stuck in a lot of strange places, Ranger Rocky? My friend Ranger Kalai can help answer that. Let's call him. Hello, Ranger Kalai. Hello, Ranger Rocky. Yo, Junior Rangers. Hi, Ranger Kalai. Do paradise tree snakes need a lot of rescuing from strange situations? 
Paradise tree snakes are one of the most common tree snakes in Singapore. Um, they are actually found island-wide. And I have uh, found them or rescued them even in shower rooms, uh, aircon vents, or even in very high stories, like up to 20th floor and 30th floor. Uh, because being tree climbers, uh, they tend to be very arboreal and climb when they can. At Acres, we get calls about them almost on a daily basis. Um, I have rescued many of them. Uh, but one memorable incident is how uh, I had one paradise tree snake that got stuck on a glue trap. Unfortunately, people still use glue traps, which are inhumane. And when geckos or lizards get stuck on them, the tree snakes go for the geckos and also get stuck in the process. Uh, fortunately, we managed to free the snake and it was able to be released back into the wild. The colourful appearance of a paradise tree snake uh, often makes people think that they are very dangerous. Uh, however, they are not. Uh, they are mildly venomous. However, if you do encounter a paradise tree snake, just keep your distance and call the right people to help you. If they are high up in the tree or in a green space, they can be left alone. But if not, we usually try to intervene and relocate them for people's safety and for the snake's well-being as well. Thanks for telling us more about the Paradise Tree Snake, Ranger Kalai. You're welcome. Ranger out. Ranger out. Ranger Rocky here. Roger that. Ranger out. Sorry, Junior Rangers. I have to leave now. There's an emergency nearby. Will you be okay watching the snake on your own? No problem. Just leave it to us, Ranger Rocky. Remember, don't get too close to the snake. See you around, Junior Rangers. Bye, Bye Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Oh no, the Paradise Tree Snake is gone. Over there, quickly. I don't see it anymore. Over there, snake. False alarm. Just some rope. <laughs> Calm down, hero. You might scare the snake away. We should put it back in the forest where it's safe. Jetpack, activate! Come on! He won't let me pick him up! If the snake won't let us carry him, why don't we let him glide across to the forest? But the forest is way over there. I don't think he'll be able to glide that far. I have an idea. Everyone, collect as many long branches and sticks as possible. You guys go ahead. I'll stay here to make sure the snake doesn't wander off. We'll be right back. <laughs> Great work, guys. Hey, where's Katie? This is all I can find. So, what do we do now? We tie them together. All done. Now let's get into position with these branches. Let's do this. Jetpack Jet activate. activate. Over to you, hero. Come on, snake. I've got you. Yes, we made it. Goodbye, paradise tree snake. Mission accomplished. I'm glad we managed to help the Paradise Tree Snake get back to the forest safely. Now it's time for a rematch. You think you can beat me with a bigger plane? You're on. On three. One, two, three. <laughs> Yay, I win. Thanks to the wider wings. Just like the Paradise Tree Snake. Oh, then I'm going to make a plane with even wider wings than yours. Mine will be the widest. Good job, children. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Reticulated Python. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. What's the matter, Hero? Hey, stop it, Hero. What are you doing? It's just a jumping rope, Hero. Did you think it's a snake? Hmm. Why don't you look for snakes in the garden? Just bark if you find one. Don't worry, there are no snakes in this garden. 
That's impossible. Maybe Hero found another jumping rope. Let's have a look. <laughs> what is it, Hero? Wow, it's a real snake. And it's so big. And are those its eggs? Hero, don't get too close. It could be dangerous. Don't worry, Snake. I'm not going to hurt you or your eggs. I wonder how it got here. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Katie, are you there? I just sent you a photo of a snake. Someone left it here in a cage. Oh, wow! What a beautiful snake! Can you find more information about it? Of course I can. Great! I'm coming up! Hero, you stay here and watch our new friend. I'll be right back. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? You're just in time, Leo. The computer is looking for information about this snake. There we go. This is a reticulated python. A reticulated python? Yep. Reticulated pythons are one of the largest snakes in the world and are found all around Southeast Asia. One of the largest? How big do they get? They can grow longer than six and a half meters in length, which is like four people standing on each other's shoulders. Normally, they eat small animals like rats and birds, but they're also known to eat dogs, cats, pigs, and even small bears. Pythons normally don't attack people, but to be safe, it's better to keep a distance. Are they poisonous? The correct word to use is venomous. And no, they are not. They're just very strong. Why do you think this python is in a cage? Some people keep pythons as pets. Maybe someone abandoned it when it laid its eggs. Poor python. We've got to get this python and her eggs back into the wild. The city is no place for her. Look, here's a good spot for us to stop. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. What brings you all the way out here? We found a python with her eggs, Ranger Rocky, and we're going to set her free. That is a big snake. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank you, Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Let's see what we can find. Here's an open field with tents, and over here is a lake. Do you know where we should go? Over there is a field with tents, which means there are people. And over there is a lake. So where should we go? There? That's right! We need to go to a place with water because pythons are great swimmers. Let's go! Wow! Oh no, Leo! <laughs> Hero, be careful! Leo, are you okay? I'm fine, Katie. But the mother python disappeared, and Hero needs our help. Let's go and find Hero. No, Leo. Hero led the hippo away from here to protect us. Hippos are extremely aggressive and too dangerous to follow. You're right, Katie. Hero knows what he's doing. He should be fine. Let's look for the mother python, then. If there are hippos, there should be water around. The mother python could be there. We didn't find anything. Normally, it's Hero who helps us find what we need. Look, we're back where we started. Hero! Hero! You went back where we last saw you. You're such a smart dog, Hero. Now Hero and the eggs are safe, but only the mother python is still missing. Hmm, 
Where should we look to find the Mother Python? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. If you want to find the Mother Python, just look for a lake. Not for a cooked steak or a birthday cake, but look for a lake. I see. So not for a cooked steak or a birthday cake, but look, look for, for a, a lake. lake. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find the Mother Python, you have to look for a lake. Good luck. Okay, Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be a lake with the Mother Python. Is that a python? Hmm, those are just vines. Let's continue. Is that a python? That's just a monkey. Can you see what that is? Yes, it's a lake. Perhaps the mother python is there. Good job, hero. We're coming over. There's the mother python. Let's keep a safe distance. We did it. We found the mother python. Hooray! Yay! We found a python and her eggs in our garden. It was a reticulated python. We learned that reticulated pythons are the largest snakes in the world and that they are great swimmers. So we went to the rainforest and brought the python and its eggs back to its natural home. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. Hero? Oh, it's just a piece of rope. Did you think it was a snake? <laughs> oh, hi, Junior Ranger Zari. Leo, there's a snake in my bathroom. Check it out. Whoa, it's huge. Keep a safe distance away from it, Zari. How did it get there? I'm safe, Leo, but I don't know how the snake got here. A bathroom's no place for a snake to live in. We need to get it home. Did someone say snake? Yeah, there's one in Zari's bathroom, Katie. Don't worry, Zari. We'll find out more about the snake and come right over to help you. Great. Ranger out. Ranger out. Katie, we need to find out more about the snake in Zari's bathroom. I'm already on it. See you later, hero. <laughs> Did you find anything? Let's see. The snake in Zari's bathroom is a reticulated python. They are one of the world's longest snakes, and they're native to South Asia and Southeast Asia. That makes sense. Zari lives in Singapore, which is in Southeast Asia. But to find it in a bathroom? Yeah, that is strange. Reticulated pythons are usually found in tropical rainforests. They are non-venomous, but they have long, sharp teeth that could give you a nasty bite. Articulated pythons are constrictors, which means they coil around prey and squeeze them tightly. Oh no! We better hurry over to Zari right now! See you downstairs! Ranger Leo all set! Junior Rangers to the rescue! Platypus One, activate! Here we go! Let's head up to Zari's place. Zari, are you okay? Huh? What are you doing, Zari?
Zari. I'm playing the recorder to hypnotize the python with music so it'll be calm. That way, it won't hurt us when we try to move it home. Are you sure that'll work? Of course. I saw it on a TV show. Don't believe everything you see on TV, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky? Rocky? Playing music won't hypnotize pythons. They don't hear sounds the same way as humans. Oh, then what should we do? Sorry, Junior Rangers. I have an emergency to attend to. Can you keep an eye on the python? I'll be back soon. But remember to keep a safe distance from it. You can count on us. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Goodbye, Goodbye Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Okay, python. <gasps> Where did it go? The python is headed out the window. Oh, no. Jetpack activate. Where did it go? Come back, Python! Where are you, Python? Come on out! Did the Python come this way? What? Leo, you lost it? <laughs> Hello, Junior Rangers. Where's the reticulated Python? Um, I lost it. Yeah, the Python's probably far away by now. Don't give up, Junior Rangers. The python could still be in the area. Even though reticulated pythons are good swimmers and climbers, they don't move very fast on land. Reticulated pythons are usually shy and avoid human contact, but they can turn aggressive if they feel threatened. So be careful as you search the area. Don't get too close to the python. Yes, Ranger Rocky. We're on it. Let's do this. Jetpack activate. <laughs> Any pythons here? Python, are you there? Did anyone find the python? Nope. <laughs> Hero? <gasps> Ranger, Ranger Rocky! Stand back, children. Everything is fine. Hello, Ranger Rocky. Did you manage to rescue the reticulated python? I'm handling it as we speak. Who's that, Ranger Rocky? This is Ranger Kalai from Acres, an organization that focuses on wildlife rescue. He also has an interesting python rescue story. Oh, really? Tell us, Ranger Kalai. I remember a few years ago, um, I had this case where there was a python sighted in the toilet um, of this residential area. The python was actually stuck in the toilet bowl. Uh, we had to use certain methods because obviously snakes are very shy of people. so. We had to actually wait behind the toilet bowl and wait for the snake to come out a bit um, before we got hold of the snake and gently pulled him out. So that was quite interesting um, and probably the only time that we had to actually retrieve a snake from a toilet bowl. So reticulated pythons, uh, they are one of the more common species that you can find in urban Singapore. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of people, uh, due to misconceptions, may see them as pest animals, but they are not. Reticulated pythons, they are very important for our ecosystem as they help to keep our rodent population down. Uh, more than 90% of the diet um, has been found to be rats in the study done. They are using our vast drainage networks, canals and monsoon drains where they ambush and prey on uh, rats and other small animals. If you were to see a reticulated python within an urban residential area, don't be alarmed. Just keep a distance of about 2 to 3 meters and help to do some crowd control if possible. The most important thing is that nobody disturb the snake so that the snake does not become defensive. Um, if you can, take a photo of the snake and call the correct people for help. You can call Acres or you can also call the MPAX hotline. That was very interesting. I learned a lot. Thanks, Ranger Kalai. You're welcome. Ranger out. Ranger out. Now it's time to bring this python home. Here you go. Goodbye, python. Stay safe. Don't wander into any more bathrooms. Mission accomplished. I'm glad we got the python out of Zari's bathroom. 
Ooh, speaking of bathrooms, I gotta use the toilet. Be careful of the snake in there. W what? <laughs> Just kidding. Ugh, Katie, I gotta go so bad. <laughs> Good job, children. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Equatorial Spitting Cobra. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger, and this is my puppy, Hero. I wonder where that frog is going. Let's follow it, too. Careful, Hero. You'll scare the frog away. Huh? Something else is hidden inside the bush? Ah! A snake! Better keep a distance, Hero. It's a snake in our garden. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Yikes! Katie, where are you? We found a snake in the garden. Hi, Leo. Oh, wow. It seems to be some kind of cobra. You can tell by the flap of skin that's spread out near its head. A cobra? Can you find more information about it? Leave it to me. Great, I'm coming up. Hero, you stay here and keep your distance from the snake, okay? I'll be right back. <coughs> Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Did you find anything? Hi, Leo. I sure did. The cobra you found is an equatorial spitting cobra, also known as a black spitting cobra. It is called a spitting cobra because it is able to shoot venom from its Fangs. Venom is a toxin, like poison, and is found in some animals such as cobras. Venom can be passed to a person or another animal through a bite or sting. Many cobras defend themselves by injecting venom through their bite, but a spitting cobra prefers to spit or spray venom at a predator's eyes to scare them away. The spitting cobra wiggles its head the same way your eyes move. This helps the cobra's aim when it sprays its venom. That's scary! Actually, spitting cobras are shy animals. They only attack when they feel threatened. Still, equatorial spitting cobras can shoot venom up to three meters away. So it's best to keep your distance. I'll make sure to remember that, Katie. Equatorial spitting cobras live in different forests in Southeast Asia, where they eat small animals like lizards, frogs, and rats. Hmm, I don't think it's safe for us to be near the spitting cobra. We should return the cobra to its natural home. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. For lots of fun and lots to learn One, two, off we go For lots of fun and lots to learn Ranger Rocky! Welcome to the forest, Junior Rangers! Ah, I see you've brought a special friend with you today. Here, you'll need these if you're going to be near that spitting cobra. Glasses? Safety glasses, Leo. The venom from spitting cobras can harm your eyes. That's why it's very important to wear these glasses for protection. When threatened, the spitting cobra will aim to shoot its venom at an enemy's eyes. The venom that the spitting cobra sprays causes pain to the eyes and sometimes blindness. You will know when you've gotten too close to a cobra when it flares the flap of skin around its head and neck. This flap of skin is called a hood. A cobra will spread its hood when it feels threatened. 
I see. We'll be careful not to get too close to the cobra. We're trying to find the spitting cobra's home. Do you know where we should look? Spitting cobras like to live near water, in burrows or under rocks, where they can hunt for food. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Ranger Rocky. Let's see what we can find. Here is an open field with some trees. And on this side are rocks and trees near a stream. Do you know where we should go? Over there is an open field with some trees. And over there are rocks and trees near a stream. So where should we go? There? That's right! We need to go to the place near a stream because spitting cobras can hunt for food near water. Let's go! What's wrong with the cobra? The spitting cobra is getting into a defensive pose. Why does it keep flicking its tongue? Spitting cobras have a very good sense of smell. They use their tongues to pick up scents in the air. Do you think it might have picked up the scent of a predator? <laughs> <gasps> they don't look very friendly. They are mongooses. It says here that the mongoose is the cobra's natural predator. Did you see that? The cobra sprayed venom at that mongoose, but the mongoose looks fine. It says here the mongoose is resistant or immune to cobra venom. That means cobra venom has no effect on the mongoose. What do we do now? We're surrounded. I'll clear a path for us. Thanks, Katie. Hold on tight, everyone. Phew, that was close. What should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. If you want to find the spitting cobra's home, just look for a hole near a stream. Not for a red laser beam or a bucket of ice cream, but look for a hole near a stream. I see. So not for a red laser beam or a bucket of ice cream, but, but look, look for, for a hole near, near a, stream. a stream. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. OK, Hero, to find the spitting cobra's home, you have to look for a hole near a stream. Good luck! <laughs> Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be the spitting cobra's home. Could this be the spitting cobra's home? Hmm, this hole already belongs to an owl. Carry on, Hero. Is this log the spitting cobra's home? No, another animal lives inside. Let's continue. What's this? There's a stream, and there's an empty hole under a rock. This seems like a good home for the cobra. Great work, Hero. We're coming over. Goodbye, little friend. We did it! We found the Spitting Cobra's home! Great job, everyone! Hooray! Yay! We found an equatorial Spitting Cobra in our garden! We learned that the spitting cobra can spray venom when threatened. That's why it's best to keep a safe distance from the spitting cobra. So we went to the forest and brought it to its natural home, far away from other humans. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. 